Hey guys, XDC here, and welcome to the fifth episode of my Let's Play. And as you can s see, uh, I've been mining. And since I got this mining drill from last episode, all these pickaxes have become kind of useless. So, I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. But I don't know if you've noticed, uh, my mining drill has run out of power. And it doesn't work very fast. It still works, but it's just very slow when it's out of power. And it would be a shame if I had to come back to my generator and charge it up every time I finished using it. Now there did used to be one of those rechargeable things, I forgot what they're called, in the older version, in the Industrial Craft 1, but in Industrial Craft 2, that's been removed. Instead, you can just uh, hold right click with a rechargeable battery, and the power would drain, as you can see, from the battery and into my drill. So that's really handy, you can just carry around a few of these rechargeable batteries with you, and your mining drill should be pretty good. So I'm just going to recharge this battery. And yep, that's all good. Now this chest here is getting a little full. Um, I've got a lot of stuff. Yep, it's completely full. I also went ahead and installed another mod. As you can see, there's a few buttons up here. These help me sort my chests and inventory. And it's no, uh, it's called Inventory Tweaks. And it's really quite handy, so... I'm going to go ahead and build a few more chests so I can, you know, organize my, oops, organize my bit, my stuff a bit. Another double chest will do for now. And I'm thinking of putting the valuable items in here, such as all my ores and stuff. And all this stuff. More of this, tin appetite, so all this other stuff can stay in there for now until I find uh, some other place for them to go. And what else? That's pretty valuable I guess, redstone, and that's about it. Mm, that looks better. And I can go in there. Let's sort this guy. Okay, that looks a little weird. It still does. Just sort of like this for now. I'm gonna macerate all this stuff, actually. The way I can do that is... It's a bit loud. So the power that's stored in the generator is being put into this macerator. So as long as there's some juice in this guy, it should be good. Or I could choose to uh, put this battery in this slot and it would directly use the power from the battery, but I want to save these for my mining drill. So yeah, that's about it for now. It's night time. I still haven't found any sheep, and I don't think I have enough string. In fact, I don't have any. Just craft myself some wool to get a bed. So right now I've been having to wait through the night to just go mining to pass time, because it's really not a good idea to go outside at night. So yeah, actually I do want to build something else. Okay, so I think I've figured out what I want to build next. Um, now if I go ahead and open up my NEI screen here, it's in uh, recipe mode, and I'm going to build one of these, an electric furnace. There we go, and as you can see, it's not too expensive. I need an iron furnace, and then upgrade it with some electronic circuits and redstone to get an electric furnace. Now this guy is pretty good especially if you're starting uh, if you're first starting off but I'm gonna need a bit of iron so yeah, this guy's working pretty slow and he's running out of power so you can see it's going down I want to macerate this and I need some coal let's grab this bit yep it's out of power no that's not gonna work So, how much iron do I need? Well, first I do need to make an iron furnace, which is this cheaper recipe one two needs five iron, then I'll need one refined one for the electric circuit. So, let's get all that stuff ready. But I should have a st uh, fair amount of refined. Yep, I do have a lot. Where did I get all that from? I don't remember. But, 
Um, copper cable don't have quite enough. So I'm going to have to make some more. This is my copper, not redstone. So... Um, six uninsulated. Then... A bunch of this as much as I can. Yep, that's enough for... Okay, that's good. That's four so far. I'm going to have the smelter in here for now. Because that electric furnace hasn't been made yet, unfortunately. So I'm going to first make my electronic circuit. There we go. And grab some more and refill. Um, and I also need a furnace. So I'll steal this one. And come on, this is quite slow. I'll put this in here for now. Generator is doing all right, and this mass macerator is using up a lot of my coal. Just for like what seven iron was it? Yeah. So I'm gonna have to upgrade that sooner or later. Hey, yay! I can make my iron furnace now, just like so. Go and we need two redstone. And we should be set for our electric furnace. Leave it's like that. There we go, electric furnace. And hmm, well it's gonna have to receive power from this guy. I have an idea. Let's set up. Whoops. Let's set up a simple system down here. Sorry, I had a minor interruption there. Um, as I was saying, I want to connect this cable. Okay, so what's going on down here is uh, this cable is connected to the generator and it will provide power to any machine that's connected to the cable. So this one. And we don't really need that there because it's already directly connected. But if I... Okay, I don't have any more rubber. Let's go get some. Get rid of this screen for now. Hopefully these trees have some rubber for me. Really, no rubber at all. Oh wait, there's a little bit. Two. Hmm. That'll get me six. Really, there's no more. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Okay, it looks like this tree's not going to give me any more. Oh look, some just spawned. That's nice. Okay, that should be enough for now. Oh, I also fixed up that creeper hole. No dirt, I'll fix it later. Okay, so our iron should be done. And if we put this into our extractor. And yep, there's plenty of juice in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to place this guy over here. And how this is going to work is I'm going to put another cable over there. And that's going to carry power from this uh, generator to this machine. So, okay, right. So I'm just going to quickly build myself a few more copper cables. Always need lots of those. Three is more than enough for now. Just need to fit that in there. And if I chuck, yep, as you can see, it's uh, charging up. And it's pretty efficient too. Uh, it takes about like three seconds or so for each smelt. So that's nice. These sounds are kind of annoying, actually. They get really loud. So yeah, I guess I'll be macerating a bunch of ores, maybe go mining for a bit and see what else I can do, so I'll be right back. Okay, so as you can see in my inventory I have a bunch of dusts macerated and I think I've decided what I'm going to do next. Now I'm going to need wait, one, two, three, four, four, six I think. Now I'm going to make 
some bronze dust. Oh, okay. He makes two. Forgot about that. So, tin dust. Tin dust, okay. So I'm going to quickly smelt this in my new electric furnace. And I'm going to get some bronze. Now what I'm going to do is uh, make a wrench. Because if you break these machines with uh, your regular mining drill or pickaxe, the chances are you'll probably break and you'll get a machine block back. So we don't want that. Uh, using a bronze will ensure you most of the time you'll get back your oh, your machine. So if I wanted to break this uh, with my mining drill, it might uh, just drop me a machine and that wouldn't be cool. So I'm going to quickly make myself a wrench like this. What? Oh, I didn't know that, but anyway. A wrench, and I can use this to move these guys around now, but I don't want to use this old wrench. What I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade it into an electric wrench. That's right, an electric wrench. And that will allow me to move these guys around without my wrench ever breaking. Because the regular ones will break. It has durability. And looks like my generator is out of power. My generator is already chewed up uh, at least half a stack of coal. Macerating all these ores. So yeah, macerating is... And it's really slow too with this macerator. Oh, well, I didn't need much more. What else can I do? Okay, I was thinking of remaking this area, actually. I know I only just built it. I'm going to take this out. And... I need a bunch... Okay, I have eight. I want a few more copper cables. So I'll go out here. Oh, by the way, I put this nice wooden platform because I got sick of having to swim up and down every time I had to look behind the tree for other spots and these trees aren't doing me very well I'm not getting any rubber from these trees okay um, oh if you notice I also made myself another mass raider when you guys weren't looking so yeah that's cool I want to expand this room a bit and unfortunately there isn't much time in this episode left so I'm gonna try and get as much done as I can in this episode and hopefully I'll finish off with the next one oh look more copper just down there I'll get that later okay it's so much easier mining with the mining drill What I want to do is, I'll have that in the middle, and I guess I could have that. I want to be able to spread the machines out a bit, but this is just only temporary. When I, I'm going to eventually set up a nice solar uh, collector system, solar panel, yeah, solar panel system, because these generators aren't it's going to use up all my coal and I have other uses for my coal so this is only temporary I'm going to put one mess right there actually put them both on the side now I need more of these because you know it's really slow and I don't want to wait for it all the time I'll put this on the other side and extractor on the end I might want to fit something else in here later but yep as you can see my generator still has its juice because I didn't move it and actually, there's one more thing I want to make. Let's see if I have resources to make it. Oh, perfect. I've got three copper cables, which is exactly what I need. And, okay, I don't think I have enough time to do this. So, I'm going to just end the episode here. Next episode, I'll be making that item that I was about to make. So, yeah, as always, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. And, yep, that's all good. Now this chest here is getting a little full. Um, I've got a lot of stuff. Yep, it's completely full. I also went ahead and installed another mod. As you can see, there's a few buttons up here. These help me sort my chests and inventory.
if I had to come back to my generator and charge it up every time I finished using it. Now that it used to be one of those rechargeable things, I forgot what they're called, in the older version, in the Industrial Craft 1, but in Industrial Craft 2, that's been removed. Instead, you can just start this. So, I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet, but I don't know if you've noticed, uh, my mining drill has run out of power. And it doesn't work very fast. It still works, but it's just very slow when it's out of power. And it would be a shame if I hold right click with a rechargeable battery and the power would drain, as you can see, from the battery and into my drill. So that's really handy. You can just carry around a few of these rechargeable batteries with you and your mining drill should be pretty good. So I'm just going to recharge this battery. Hey guys, XDC here and welcome to the 5th episode of my Let's Play. And as you can see, uh, I've been mining. And since I got this mining drill from last episode, all these pickaxes have become kind of useless.